Hello YouTube viewers, this is Silver Tardis here. I'm filming this in my kitchen in case you were wondering about the tablecloth and everything. Um, yeah, these models of robots from Robot Wars and Roaming Robots. I think you might guess that I'm going to be making a series at some point. Yeah, so let's take a look at who we have. We've got Panic Attack, a favourite of mine. Yeah, um, when I was younger I did make a bit of a mess with the paint and everything. Here's Stinger. Here we have Tornado. You can take off the scoop and put the flywheel on. Oh, talking of flywheels, here's Hypnodisc. Also we've got Danton Kier. This one is the rarest of the lot, I'm told. I was lucky to get it before Robot Wars finished. Uh, Pussycat now. The disc comes off a bit. Thanks to my sister's clumsiness. Right, Firestorm. The flipper did break, actually. So I'm going to have to activate it like so, should I do a series. Um, Exterminator now. Exterminator, well... Um, yeah, like I said with Panic Attack, I did mess it up a bit. But the orange look, Exterminator did actually used to be orange, so I don't think it will matter that much. Right, Chaos 2, my favourite Robot Wars machine. Yeah, the spring broke in the flipper, which is actually better, actually, because I want to pin the flipper down. Let's see if we can get hit in the disc there. And pull my finger up at the same time. Better result, don't you think? There. Right, next one is Razor. Razor, well, the beak broke when I put it away and it's in the toy box and everything. So I had to sellotape it back together because I'm not all that good with glue. So should I make a series? Uh, sorry about Razor's beak. I just repaired it as best I could. Right, now for Wheelie Big Cheese. A lot of people like this because that's why. Um, yeah, that's weird to be cheese. Now for the ones I made myself. Here's the first one I made. This is Barbarous. Yeah, based on a barber's pole and everything. I used some toilet roll and two cereal box toys that I got when I was, um, I think it was when I was nine. Yeah, I thought I'd start off with something easy, so I did Barbarous. And despite it being held together with sellotape, I think it's been done pretty well. You just roll it along. Not much in the weaponry department, but there you go. Um, here's the second one I made. This was Smidzy. Yeah, I saw M. Sipes and W. make Smidzy, and it was just a wedge with a bit of cardboard on the back of the disc. Now, I know it's a bit tacky, as you can see, since it's held together with sellotape and everything. But one good thing is I managed to get the jaws to move and make it into a wedge when it needs to be. So, yeah, that's the thing with Smidzy moving weaponry. I'm pretty proud of that, actually, despite the fact it looks a bit tacky. Right, so here's one from Roaming Robots. You probably won't know it, but Roaming Robots fans such as Robot Wars Mad and Womanut, I think I'm pronouncing his username right. This is White Knight. Uh, White Knight came along in Roaming Robots in about 2008, I think. Yeah, basically, yeah. And it's for a little joke, the only message you'll get from White Knight is Good Night. Yeah, you just slot it under a robot, press down the back, and up it goes. Yeah, White Knight, I'm pretty pleased with it, even though it's held together with sellotape. I'm glad I did get that shape right. Yes. Now, um, here's another one I made. This is Crusader 3. Crusader, I think you might remember from Series 4 of Robot Wars, was beaten by Mortis. Yeah, basically it's a wedge shape. I like pushing robots. Yeah, see, push against Smidzy. I think it might be a match for Tornado. And it's even enough to get underneath Firestorm. Yeah, pretty good in the pushing power department, I think. Even though I didn't really get it stuck down very well. That was in my early model making stages. Okay, now for the ones I've made more recently. This is Weird Alice. Weird Alice, um, the flipper just... 
as long as I can get it to work properly. There we go, flipping white knight. I did try and make it look as much as the real thing. I didn't really get the size right though, but I don't think that will matter. So long as I get my arena the right stage. I think it will be under construction soon. Um, Envy was the next one I made. Envy, yeah, that's, this is another one from Roaming Robots. So, and it's a favourite of Womanut. It's a bit like Firestorm. It just comes along with its frontward flipper and there it goes, there it goes, exterminated. It did that pretty well. Envy, pretty strongly made. I tried to write the name on the back but my sister messed up the paint. So, yeah, Envy. There. Alright, and uh, now for um, Tilly Evo. Tilly Evo was built by the Lamsey and U2 team. If you remember them from Robot Wars. Um, Tilly Evo are the 2007 Annihilator Champions. Oops. I've had a bit of trouble with their flipper because um, it's not as effective as it should be. I mean, let's just take a panic attack here. Let's try and flip panic attack. Yeah, it just slips out from underneath and trying to strengthen the flipper. I don't know how um, M Sipes and W did his because um, it made his weaponry, his AK weaponry, flipper and actors and so on and so forth so strong because he could flip a robot out of the arena no prob whereas with my flippers they're pretty bad okay so it flips exterminator but that was just an exception alright here's one you will recognize Robot Wars fans this is Atomic Atomic like Tilly Evo and trying to get his flipper to perfection yeah but I think I got the artwork pretty well and I know M Sipes and W hasn't made Atomic so that's a bit of an advantage for me <laughs> sorry if he's watching this okay and last but not least is Chompalot. Chompalot was pretty hard to make actually because I had to add these bits of shiny paper on but I made the jaw at the front pretty well and I also made the eyes too yeah Chompalot I really like the look of it and it's pincer. Let's see if we can get round the wheel of Wheelie Big Cheese. Yeah, it d does that pretty well. So it'll get round quite a few things. Yeah, like Hypnodisc as well. And with Pussycat. When it just gets in the right position. And Crusader. Yeah, the chores. I'm pretty proud of them. So, so far, the robots that are going to be in my series uh, total up to 20. I have made quite a few others, but... Um, I'm thinking of putting them in, but they need to be, well, improved a bit. Um, whether it will be size that's stopping them from enter, or in the fact that their weapons aren't good enough. Because I have made a few failures in the model making department. I've made some out of Lego. Just wonder if they're good enough, or big enough. Well, I've made a few that are good, made out of Lego. I made a Lego behemoth. I might make another video with robots that might be entering the series, but no guarantees. As for these 20 robots here, they'll definitely be entering the series, should I make one. So, this is Silver Tardis, and goodbye.